up to 1800. There. Turn the magneto switch to right. Watch for a drop. A little bit of a drop. Go back to both. Go to the left. A little bit less of a drop. Back to both. We'll pull out the car here. Big drop. Back in. Goes off. Alright, do one more. We're going to pull it out. Now we're going to bring the engine back down to idle. Runs really rough with that on, but as long as the engine doesn't quit. Really cold out, so. Yeah. Thing, uh. Really cold blooded. Uh, basically, what we do is we go through a bunch of checks, right? So, uh, what we do is we do the run up. So, the very first thing you want to do is you want to take the controls, you want to rotate them all the way, and wherever your thumb, so you put your your hand like this, and wherever your thumb is pointing, that is that aileron should be pointed up, right? So, you bring it all the way back, and you, verily, you visually verify that that's up, and then you go all the way to the right. Now, you look at that one, make sure that one's up. This one over here is down because they should be opposite. And then you push this all the way down and you should be able to verify in the back that that tail is all the way down and then back neutral. Uh, we already know that the rudders are working, but you can always put your feet on them, look back all the way to the rudder and go back and forth and make sure that those are accurately going the right way. We already know the brakes work. Bring the mixture back down. Um, and then basically when we run up, we were just looking at well pressure, well temperature, uh, all your temperatures that are up here as well. Just making sure that they're not without or uh, not outside of those parameters, right? So 450 for this one and 1475. Okay. And then last thing is you check all of your, uh, your stuff, right? So trim, this is the little trim tab that's on the elevator to make yeah. sure that that's within that little white mark. So if it's way up here, uh -huh. you know, it's going to be, you want that about somewhere within that white mark, but right in the middle is fine. Okay. At your field altitude here, here we're like 20 something feet. So I usually like to put it just a little bit higher. Um, or you can get the, uh, the barometric pressure out of Sacramento. Doesn't matter, we know the field elevation. So whatever we set, that is right about where the barometric pressure is anyways. Okay. This is level, right? So your attitude here your compass, so this is a magnetic compass. Uh -huh. You want to set this as best as possible, and what I do is I look at what the largest, uh, you know, so south, southwest, east, north, all it. Yeah. So I look at, so it's closest to west. Okay. And I see that it's on, it's next to 24, but it's closer to west, so I turn it towards the west until I get to about the mark that it's at. So you get one small, one big. Yeah. And up here it's one small, one big. Okay. So that's set. Everything else should be set. This is set. That we don't mess with. That we mess with. So it's just these ones, three, okay. that you're going to set. Uh, make sure that this is good. You shouldn't have to set that, but if you do, you do. Okay. Shouldn't change. Wow. Oh, hell is all. Whoever is student has got a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah. Right. Throw up with the primer, or I'm sorry, the mixture all the way in. Primer should be locked. Now with this thing, you can steer with the pedals. Uh -huh. um, but the champ, you can do the same thing, except for the brakes on the champ are on the heels. So yeah. you, actually, you actually have to use your heels to stop versus using the toes. On this one, you put your, your you push the toes at the top, and that's the brakes. So it's built into the actual Oh, I feel it. Yeah, so if you push a bolt, you stop. Okay. Are you able to hit those? I can reach those. Can you push them down, though? Can you push the pedals, like left and right? Okay, you got enough, enough authority. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'm going to make a radio call real quick. Franklin traffic, uh, 714 Alpha Echo is going to take off runway 27, staying in the pattern uh, for Franklin. So, we're going to go on the runway, so I'm going to get you lined up. See how okay. well you can take off. So, the
the propeller spins uh -huh. in one direction, right? Yeah. So it has a tendency to uh, make the plane yaw. So in this instance, the plane's going to want to yaw to the left, so you always have to hold right rudder as you're going down the runway. Okay. All right, and last checks before we start going. Carb heat off, mixture's all the way in. Everything's okay. on that needs to be on. I'll just turn all this stuff on. Uh, we'll put some pedo heat on. All right, everything looks good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the controls. Now you're not gonna have to do much for a little bit. Just let the controls do what they're gonna do. And then we're okay. gonna rotate at 60. Okay. All right. So put your hand on the on there and then you're gonna push it all the way in real slowly go go all the way on all the way all the way make sure you put your feet on the rudder nope nope don't okay. correct with this so left and right is the feet okay so pull yeah there you go a little bit a little bit less push the throttle all the way in all right so hold the nose down a little bit at their 60 now pull back just a little bit slightly Pull back, pull back, there you go. Now, level out. Nose down just a tad. Go, right there. Now when it wants, the nose wants to come up, you just... Just see how the nose is climbing? Uh-huh. So you just push forward just a tad bit. Okay. Just keep enough pressure on it so it's not doing that. And I'll use the trim to help you out. level. Nose is coming up, so push it, go. And we're going to start making a left turn. So okay, so you're going to have to tell me rudder, left rudder to go left, right? No, no, you could just use the, the yoke on this okay. one. Franklin traffic symbol for Alpha Echo is turning crosswind runway 27 Franklin. As we come around to south, go ahead and straighten out. A little more, a little more. We're at 800 feet. Yeah, we're not going to be able to go anywhere because yeah. we're already losing the airport. All right, so go ahead and start making your left-hand turn. Put the nose down a little bit. And left-hand turn. No more than 30 degrees bank. All right, put the nose down just a tad bit. All right, straighten out. Because we're right on east. Nose down. We'll pull some power out so that we're not trying to climb, climb like crazy. I have the airport. The airport's right here. Okay. I'm looking for other traffic. If it wasn't foggy, it would be a pretty day. It's got a beautiful sea of white birds over here. Yep. I'm going to pull the power back just a little bit more until we get close. Pull back on the stick just a little bit. Right there. Now I'm going to do car beat. And we're going to put in the first notch flaps. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. And we should be right about 10 degrees. Okay. Nose down just a little bit. I'll pull the power back. Now what you're looking for, usually if you can see the horizon, you want about four inches in the window. So okay. about right there would be your descent. Okay. Alright, now we're going to start making a left-hand turn. Franklin traffic, 714 Alpha goes turning base, runway 27 Franklin. Am I turning too much? Uh, just make sure you're kind of on the inside. I'm sorry, on the outside of the turn. We're going to turn straight. I'll make a turn a little bit more. Franklin traffic 714 Alpha goes final runway 27 Franklin. Oh, I see. It. All right, so we overshot. 
So in this instance, you have two chance or two choices. You either go around, or you can try to come back in. We're good on airspeed. We're good on altitude. We can come back in. Yeah, we do. Oh, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. I'll put a little bit more flaps in there. Are we going to land? Yeah, we're good. Okay. So I'm just helping you out with the controls. We're going to maintain 60 on final. We're right below. We come down to the runway, you're going to pull back a little bit. Oh. I like that. Flaps up, carpet it. And we're going to go around. And pull back. Traffic 714 Alpha goes on the upland, 27 frequently. Over 400 feet. We can climb just a little bit more. Create some of that airspeed for a little bit of altitude. Okay. Do I need to put the nose down a little? No, no, that's what we're doing is we're trading airspeed for altitude. So we're going to okay. make a left hand turn. Right about there. Okay. Everything's about sight pictures, so I want you to get used to what you're seeing is what you're going to look for when you're actually doing pattern work. Now we're going to level out a little bit. Level out. Oh. Got some birds that were right below us, so I just don't want to go through those. Yeah. Right here. The white birds? Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to start making our downwind turn. Go ahead and make a left turn. That was a lot of birds. I know, and they were to my right when we were turning earlier. There was more. All right, and we're coming around to that east mark. So go ahead and straighten out. Straighten out. Yeah, it's hard to get used to because you have three dimensions. Yeah. When you have three dimensions to manage, you know, you got right, left, up, and down. Yeah. And forward and back. Sorry. And I'm not really sure yet what these rudders do, so it scares me a little. Well, the rudders only... I'll explain it here in a minute. Franklin traffic, uh, so one for Alpha goes on the down one, runway two, seven, Franklin. Uh, so rudders, right, is just your tail. Oh. You can wag the tail in the air, uh -huh. and it's the same thing on the ground. All it does is it makes your motion left or right. Okay. But if you didn't have this, you could technically turn the airplane with it, uh -huh. but it's a real pain in the ass. Okay. So that's why you have ailerons. Okay. So the ailerons, you don't want to be too aggressive with them. You don't want to be too aggressive with anything, right? It's right. all really smooth, really, really short uh, motions. Hold on. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, anyway, so with the controls, you're just going to make smooth and tiny adjustments, and you're not going to do anything crazy. All right, so we're going to make a left-hand turn. Try to get you back to the runway. Okay. Lift the wing up, see where the runway is at. The runway's right there, so we're going to keep going. I'm going to do a military pattern here. I feel like we're much straighter this time. Yeah. I'm not used to this plane. Not anymore. All right, so, one 1,000, 2 1,000, 
3 left us. We have a little bit more clouds, we're going to put the nose down. And you basically want to point the nose, so pick an area on the window that's somewhere here okay. in the center, or wherever it's at for you on uh -huh. the screen, and put that point on the numbers or just beyond the numbers, okay. so you know where you're going to land on that runway. You're doing this, right? I'm helping you. Okay. So we're a little bit nose left, because the wind's coming from that direction. Around the line, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, not too much. Did it go okay? Yeah. Alright, go around. We're at 60, so you can pull back. Traffic 7-1 for Alpha, who's turning crosswind runway 27 frequently. <clears throat> now, like you're really far over on that wing, bring it back just a little bit. All right, and now straighten it out, nose down a little bit. Level. It's like driving a car, you don't have to be afraid of it. I am still afraid of it. I know. Nose down just a tad bit. We'll pull some of this power out. We're going to make a left hand turn. Franklin traffic, so one for Alpha Echo is turning downwind, runway 27 Franklin. Also, wherever you're turning, make sure that you're looking at the horizon at the same time. So, kind of want to glide the nose, so go ahead and level out. You want to glide the nose across. Uh, you know, make it level turns, right? So you're not climbing, not descending. Yeah. You want to make level turns, so you put your nose right on the horizon. Scoot it across the horizon. Okay. I'm pretty level, right? Yeah, we look pretty good. Okay. We're going to turn right just a little bit. 